officials and representatives from the Ministry of Education, principal of the Poly Primary School, district helpless, everyone, parents, students, guests, and a special graduating class of 2017. Welcome to the graduation ceremony of the Poly Primary School. The theme is driving upwards always. To the students, drive upwards always. I'm quite sure you guys are aware of the two. We started from the bottom now we're here. Right? I'm quite sure there's a song like that. We started from the bottom now we're here. Of course, I'm going to speak to you like a journey. And for your generation, you guys started from the bottom. You guys started in preschool, grade K, grade 1, and up to this level. You endured. You did not give up. I heard a speech in the inauguration where it said, do not give up. And you did not give up. Always strive upwards. Always keep pressing and pressing. Do not allow anything to stop you. Every single one of you have a gift. Every single one of you have a talent that is different from every single one of us. All of you are here for us, not just because you are unique, you are unique, but you are actually unique in your own way. Never be afraid to be yourself. Never, never be afraid to express yourself. Because you are the future of Dominica and Polly by extension. No one told that to me when I was in grade 6. But I knew I had a purpose in my life, which is my family. But never did I think I would be here right now. So you guys not know where you're going to be in 10 to 15 years. It could be bad and it could be good. But it all depends on the road you take. It all depends on what decision you make. There are a lot of circumstances which you will face which will possibly influence your decision. But at the end of the day, you have to remember it is you who will be either on the road to success or on the road to danger. Of course, as I said, never give up. And that's something I want to tell you. Please do not drop out of high school. Do not drop out from high school. It's important that you, I hope you take your education very serious. You will not possibly be the top in the class, neither might you be the lowest in the class, but you'll be somewhere in the class. And it all depends on what you choose. It all depends on what you choose. You will be influenced in high school by persons you do not know now. You will be influenced by friends who try to lead you into a path that you is right for you. But it all comes back to who? You. It will have persons who will be who possibly want to use you, whether for your education, whether for your advantages, whatever it is. You have to be on your guard. You have to ensure that you protect yourselves physically, mentally, and of course, emotionally. And speaking of emotionally, do not be afraid when you go to high school that you should think that you are too big to speak to your parents. I'm giving you advanced warning. Our school is filled with bullies. But you now should be the strong one. Do not become a bully. Always help everybody you can. You see somebody in need, you do not bully them. You see somebody with a disability or have something that they are lacking, you do not bully them. Because one day, they might be the very same one that have to help you. Of course, discover your skills and your talents. Some of you might have been taught in school in basic math, English, science, social studies, and these subjects. But I can testify and tell you these subjects are important, but there's something you can do that you have not been taught. You have to take everything that you learn from preschool to primary school and what you learn in high school to discover who you are and what you are capable of doing to develop your country. Some of you might be well led and here in the famous lawyers, doctors, teachers. I'm going to be real. The real world in high school is plumbers, electricians, lawyers, entrepreneurs, nurses, caregivers, preschool teachers. These are some of the things we not here. I was not here in primary school, except doctors, lawyers, and accountants. Because that, we have the mentality that is what we have to have for us to be able to develop laws. Every single skill of every living person is important and it is needed. Do not, do not do something that will not make you happy. Whatever you do, whatever you learn in high school, pick it 
up and do what will make you happy. And to provide for your family, who you have a modern father now, and better your own family. Always think of yourself and your future. Because you cannot develop your community, you can't develop anyone else if you are not developed. You have to have something of your own. And on that journey, you do not pull on people to get what you need. Of course, you build up people, and that is how you will build yourself. Embrace your talents. Do not be jealous or envious of someone else's. Because you are not aware of what they went through. You are not aware of what they are going, what's going on at home. You will go in school and everybody will be smiling. Some people will be depressed. Some people will be crying. But you do not know what will be going, what's going on at their home. So therefore, you move on loving one another. That's not a common thing used. But that's how we will succeed in life. Parents, the children need you. Your children do not only need you to provide the bread and cut the tea. Your children need you. It's not just about sending children to school. It's about speaking to them. It's about listening to them. It's about understanding them. I don't know how many of you have students who will be going to ask for the first time, but they are definitely going to need your love and attention. They are going to need your comfort. Do not shun them, because that is how young people go away and astray. Because God has given every child a mother and a father. We know the latter always fail in those times. But praise to God for those who are in jail, that's the fathers. Fathers, please be in your children's life. Every young girl and every young boy needs their mother and their father. encourage their skills. I remember when I was going to my primary school and there's some young said this child is to immediate. Your children will be doing things that you might not approve of. But look at the potential of the good that can come up from it. I remember my daddy right here I used to write on every part of the wall and I used to get the text. So, then I remember what the documentary where it said watch things that children do when they do not. Your child likes to talk. Who tells you want to learn from people to do things like give speech, do poems? Because God is showing you something that you are too blind to see possibly because you're just following the norm. Your child likes to break toys and see what's inside. Maybe he's going to be a mechanic. <laughs> or she, sorry. He or she is going to be a mechanic. But you do not know because you are only thinking your child has to be a doctor and a lawyer. But we need the mechanics. Is that a lot of people to a mechanic recently? Or at the same time, since you have it. You see, we need the mechanics. Your child likes to fish. You find the fishing not the thing. Fish is important. What you can do is ensure that your child develops in a fishing sector properly. He or she likes to fish. He or she could be more than just a fisherman. Encourage your children with their skill. Please do not discourage them with whatever skill they, they are exposed to you. Protect it also, because the devil is waiting to be used it for his plans. Protect your children's skills and ability. I would like to encourage, of course, the villagers. Please, support the children. Support them. They might do wrong at times, but forbid. That is not the opportunity to laugh, gossip, and spread the news. This is an opportunity to show the younger persons that you are here. We care. Because the children, they are looking up and they are watching the attitude of the villagers also. Time and time again, we hear rumors of children and we run with it. When we run with it, that child goes into a certain state for depression for some. Some decide to go into drugs. The important thing is that as a village, we need to protect our children. When you might think that that child is not important now, that child will become important. So I would like to encourage the villagers, every single one of them might be encouraged. Them. Of course, we did not get any bursaries or we did not get any scholarship. I remember I missed my free maps and I went to see very precious. 
Because I was told those streets what you need to get out of poverty. Those streets have to go and they come and give you free books at school because I know that was what we were told. It is important, but do not let it determine your attitude now. I remember I went to school some high school with some students who got the student scholarship. And you want to know something? They did not strive up always. They gave up. You have to be striving. You cannot start a race, and because you are the first one to start the race, and you fell up and you go halfway, what matters is who reach the end. Do not fight in school. Do not fight in school. Because you will get demerits, you will get detention and suspension. And there will be the time you have to write something called a resume. There will be the time you have to do something called go to an interview. I may be telling you too much now because I'm in just in front of school. But it is important that you know these things. You come back and not you do not do right in high school. I remember I told you it was not too long I was there. So please, please, do what is necessary for you to be the best student that you can be. Yourself, every man to himself, your life is yours and no one else's. 